Hello friends, this is Normal here for Technique and today we're going to review the camera on the Lumia 550. So the Lumia 550 is a new budget smartphone from Microsoft and this is priced 9400 in India. And this uh, is the first budget Windows 10 mobile uh, device launched in India and uh, spec wise this isn't really co as competitive uh, as uh, the Android counterparts and uh, this has just a 5 megapixel uh, shooter with a LED flash and a friend facing 2 megapixel camera. So Microsoft is um, competing with Android uh, devices in this price point uh, which have 13 megapixel cameras like the ASUS Zenfone 2 Laser, we have Lenovo K3 Note, Coolpad Note 3, even Infocus M680. So a lot of devices in this price point, all of them have 13 megapixel shooters and in this price point Microsoft is competing with a basic 5 megapixel shooter with LED flash and just a 2 megapixel shooter. So spec wise it's kind of disappointing uh, for the pricing a lot of users might be looking for great camera experience and uh, Microsoft Lumia 550 disappoints just with a 5 megapixel camera. So now let's uh, have a look at the camera interface. So let's open the camera. So this is the camera interface so it looks very familiar uh, it's the Lumia interface uh, Lumia camera interface which has been now carried on to Windows 10 uh, uh, Windows Mobile uh, 10 OS so you can see you can expand the top uh, panel and you can see there is option to uh, change the white balance uh, uh, ISO you can uh, change the exposure and just just slide here and you have this real control so this can be set here so that's the option and uh, you can just minimize this as well and apart from that you also have uh, uh, rich rich captures that's kind of HDR uh, option and uh, then uh, we have uh, uh, the front facing option this is the front facing camera and uh, finally we have the option to enable or disable flash now if you go to the settings uh, we have a decent set of options we have the lenses so lenses you can uh, install additional lenses and get uh, uh, different options then there is photo timer you can uh, select the delay as 5 seconds and you can also continuously take uh, photos every 5 seconds uh, until the camera button is pressed so that's the options then uh, we have the bracketing and uh, finally we have the general settings so here we have uh, press and hold the camera button uh, disable you can uh, see the photo burst or you can take videos then aspect ratio you can select uh, 16 is to 9 4 is to 3 framing grid uh, you can enable or disable focus light uh, you can use focus light for flash settings auto and always on then there is option to capture living images so living images was previously available with flagship phones now it's available in even in budget phones then a uh, video recording uh, you can see its maximum is uh, 1280 by 720 at 30 fps you can go to 25 fps and even 24 fps so the maximum video resolution is uh, hd there is no full hd support and there's also a digital video stabilization option you can turn this on so these are the options available so it's again uh, a decent camera because the camera interface doesn't change with uh, uh, change much with a uh, flagship and budget smartphone it's uh, almost the same interface and if you uh, toggle here you can uh, go to the video recording mode so these are the options available now let's go to the camera samples first up let's see the uh, photos taken in daylight so for the photos taken in daylight you can see there is adequate amount of lighting and uh, the colors have come pretty good uh, the overall uh, clarity is also pretty decent for a budget smartphone if you if you look at the sharpness level that's where the 5 megapixel camera uh, disappoints the, sh the image sharpness is way too lower obviously because the 5 megapixel shooter can't take uh, uh, um, images with a uh, great sharpness uh, and when compared to 13 megapixel counterparts so overall you can say that uh, in the daylight the photos look uh, pretty decent but then again it's not the best uh, we have seen uh, from a Lumia device ideally if Microsoft was looking for to cut down the budget uh, it should have provided uh, a, at least an 8 megapixel shooter in this price point so that's one disappointing aspect and you can see daylight shots have come pretty decent overall uh, the colors uh, look uh, decent but again uh, uh, for a phone in the sub 10k price point this is not the great camera so if you're looking for great camera experience this is not the phone to choose but overall considering that this is a 5 megapixel shooter if you compare with other 5 megapixel shooters then this camera makes sense because this 5 megapixel shooter does have decent uh, abilities uh, overall the colors look uh, pretty decent the overall clarity is again decent for a 5 megapixel shooter but uh, when you compare this with the competition that's where this falls short and uh, uh, the 
clarity is not comparable to other phones in the sub 10k price point now if you look at the uh, the close up shots again uh, they have come pretty decent and uh, now talking about the uh, low light imaging abilities that's where this camera struggles um, uh, since the 5 megapixel shooter doesn't have that uh, high capabilities to take uh, videos i mean the photos in uh, low light uh, the post processing uh, does some uh, enhancement and as a result uh, the images are uh, highly noisy and you can clearly see the noise levels uh, it's way too higher so low light shooting uh, is in the strength of this camera uh, so uh, with flash again uh, it's decent uh, clarity uh, but then again um, considering the price point this is poor uh, low light Im imaging abilities from the lumia 550 so overall uh, we would say this is in the camera smartphone we would uh, recommend uh, but if you are looking for uh, a lumia device with windows 10 mobile then you don't have much options you have only the 550 as of now so uh, that's the camera aspect on the lumia 550 now moving on to the selfie camera it has uh, a 2 megapixel front facing camera and again you can see the selfie experience it's not really that great but it does again have decent color quality that's uh, one good thing about this uh, camera Ideally, most of the devices in this price point have 5 megapixel front camera and uh, this has just a 2 megapixel shooter. So that's again disappointing aspect. Now if you look at the video recording, this phone can record videos in just 720p as I said before. And the video recording is in the game now very impressive uh, because most of the devices in this price point of a full HD video. So overall we would say the Lumia 550 disappoints big time with a 5 megapixel shooter and a 2 megapixel front facing camera. So if you're looking for a camera experience from a Windows phone, we wouldn't suggest you to buy this. We would suggest you to pick the Lumia 640 or uh, even the 640XL which uh, if, you, if you can spend a little more on the budget, a 640XL is a better choice here. But if you're not looking for Windows phone, there are lots of... Uh, better camera devices to buy like the cool pad note 3 we have the laser uh, uh, the laser uh, uh, zenfone 2 laser we have k3 note uh, we have xiaomi mi 4i in focus m680 lot of devices are there in this price point so that is the camera review of the lumia 550 hope you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching have a great day